everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I have such a fun thing to share with you today. I tell you, I love the Somerset Studio Magazine. I absolutely love it. I got a couple of projects. Well, actually, I just got a project that out of here, and I made a couple of things. But mine is no, it did not turn out like um, in, the, um, in the article, but it's okay. That's where the inspiration come from, and that's really all that matters is that, you know, that, that this book inspires you to do something. Uh, I said a long time ago, and I know that you've seen it in some of my videos, that I, to justify the price of these magazines, that I would try to always try to make at least one, one project in there, or at least be inspired to create something from what I have seen. So... Uh, this here was A Crinkle in Time by Nancy Roberts. Uh, my cereal liners, and that is what she used as a cereal liners, did not adhere uh, at all like this shows hers did. I don't know. Maybe it was a different brand of cereal. I don't know. But mine did not adhere like, like these are showing here. So, uh, anyway... It's just one of those things, though. You know, you, you, uh, the main thing is you tried. Uh, you know, you took an article, you found something, and you just went out with it. So, anyway, here we go. I, uh, I used the cereal liners, and, uh, as you can see, it didn't adhere to, you see a lot of, um, you see where places where it did, and then you see places that it didn't. But I actually love how it came down. It looks so old and and yucky. <laughs> I just love it. I don't know why. But you can see here that it just did not. Some places the wax did from the liner adhere and some places it didn't. You were to run your, your hot iron over it. You couldn't have it too hot because it would uh, crinkle it at the same time. You know, you had to have heat, and I can see places it did kind of melt the wax and places it didn't. This one did a little bit better, but it's still loose. You can see it's still loose around it. Now, in the article, she actually made all her pages out of the liners, and I didn't. I just made a cover out of the serial liners. Here is kind of the inside, and you can barely see the image in there. Uh, because of how it has, uh, you know, kind of, the wax caught a little bit there and a little bit there, but it didn't anywhere else. And then here is the, uh, the inside of the back of this one, and it didn't look like it caught anywhere there, so. But it's loose, and, well, the, the, uh, thing isn't loose, but I mean your, your cereal liner is, is loose and stuff, but. I don't know. I just like how it came out. It, it just has that old, grungy, yucky look to it, and I kind of like that. So uh, what I did was after I made the cover, I just sewed a signature in of my grungy paper. That's kind of what I did. I used some red ticking there, as you can see. Uh, this is out of the Tim Holtz. Uh, new little ephemera pack he has out. I haven't had those very long. But I used the crinkly grungy paper is what I did. And then I just made some collages with, you know, just some old typewriter print uh, font. And then some old lace. And, of course, my images are from Vintage by Me. I uh, actually purchased a couple of more that were in the 4x6. Um, when you can kind of see your um, selections there, she's got them categorized. Um, I bought some new ones out of the 4x6, so a section, and that's where these came from, these little postcard uh, ones, one uh, that come out of the digital there, and I've just added a little number, a little vintage lace there, but I just thought this would be fun to have some of the grungy papers in. And I've added some of the aged looking tape there as well. I just love how they come out, even with the, the uh, covers the way they are. 
That is super cute. I just love it. And then here I've just used some vintage lace. And there is, there's that little book. There's not a lot of pages in it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be 12 pages, uh, 24 sides. So it'd be mainly just one uh, little one event or, you know, or maybe a holiday or something um, just for journaling. And then here is the second one I made, which these pieces here are from uh, the Tim Holtz as well. And um, I had the little postcards already. And this is, I just left it. I didn't put anything on that side. I was hoping that it would um, catch a little better on my... Um, if I had it more flat where I wasn't putting fabric and stuff in it, but it still didn't. I mean, it's still loose. You can tell it's loose. So, I have another idea still yet for um, the liners. I don't know when I'll get to it, but but anyway. I know the same way here. I've just filled it with some of the grungy, grungy little prints. And added some, of course, some of the tape and just making it look aged. I had a little, little masking tape as well. Of course, did my little stitching in it with the black thread. There's some more masking tape. I just used the latte. Um, as a matter of fact, I have the ink still down here. I just use the alcohol ink in the latte color and that's what gives you uh, just run it on some masking tape and then I've just kind of collaged that all up another little so anyway just kind of collaged it up and I just love it I just love now this one here the cover fits uh, the papers, this one it doesn't, the papers hang out over the cover, which is kind of what I was going for. So, uh, this one here has one, two, three, four, five, I think it has six, oh, it has seven. This one has seven, so it'll be 14 pages and 28 sides. So, anyway, there we are, guys. These are just so much fun. Um, if you get the uh, Somerset Studio, I mean, it's it's a wonderful magazine. Most times, they do have really nice projects that are easy, really easy for you to do. You know, it's very, very seldom do you ever get an issue that there's not something in it that, that's fun and, and creative that you can't draw some kind of inspiration off of. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.